I want to say this because there is something that happened. Um, and I'm going to talk about child support and women and these men and these babies. If you have a man who is actually taking care of his children, that's a good thing. But don't abuse that. And then take them to child support and try to collect that money and then collect money outside of child support. Because child support really does not work for the parent. It works for the system. Because you don't get the bulk of the money. They pretty much take 80% of that money and you pretty much get 20%. If you let somebody talk you into that crap, and what I say all the time and I'll say it again. If that man was no good when you was dating him. And when you decide to lay up with him, he still is no good. Why would you have a baby by a man who didn't do nothing for you before the, the pregnancy came into place? Because what he was before is going to be the same thing that he's going to be afterwards. Pretty much the same thing. So if he was broke and using you before you was pregnant, he's probably going to be nine times going to be broke and using you after he found out you're pregnant. There are some good men out who, who are taking care of their children. But some of y'all women is stupid as hell. You're using these children as pawns on the chessboard. And it's going to backfire on you. And then you need to learn how to break the cycle. If you had a crazy mama that had to deal with a crazy situation, do you need to roll it over into your life? Because when you really look at the child is the one who suffers. The child suffers. You're using the kids at the pond. You won't let the daddy or the mama see the child. But yet, so you want to collect the money. And then if they go to court and say that you're not doing it, you want to get mad because your checks don't get cut off. You want to continue to collect child support money, but the father takes the baby for the summer or takes the baby for a school semester and you still collect the check. Is that fair? No, it's not. You need to turn that money back over. Work it out. Because it's about the child. It's not about your getting your hair done, your nails, your rent, keeping you up to date fashion. It's not about that. It's about the child. And when you look at it, the person who suffers the most is the child. This is why some of these kids end up being so rebellious for foolishness. And by the time you realize the stupid stuff you have done, it'll be too late. And some of these kids could be on better track if you would just let the other parent step in and assist in the process. That's all I'm saying.